I've forgotten to paint this in steel. It's this little joint and this one here. So I'm doing that just now. <coughs> I think this is steel as well. As for his little disco stick, I'll paint it steel here. This is pretty straightforward. it is pretty much shaded. There's another little eye thing going on here, but it's pretty much in the darkness. We'll, we'll sort that out later, actually. Now we'll continue with the gold on that uh, little stick of his. I could use bronze conceivably, but what's the wh where's the fun in that, really? I've put a little too much paint here, so I'll absorb it a little, and voila. That's because underneath it is very, very shaded, so it doesn't deserve as much gold as the rest. I would have put the... Um, the stick vertically so one could see all the details but that's not me I did not build that miniature so it wasn't exactly my choice oh what a lovely gold chaos symbol Spiky, spiky. I'll pin this all gold, including the skull, who seems to be a part of the uh, whole design. Looks like the staff is also a power weapon. Hence the little wormy thing here. And the little box here. And now let's just paint that skull a little. And all oh, that delicious, delicious thing underneath. I'll just brush over it. This isn't a dry brush, but almost. That's pretty much all it needs, really, because it's such, because it's so much, so in darkness so much, I mean. This needs more gold. This should be gold.
it's this part I'm painting, this little thingy leg protection stuff. It has little chaosy uh, lightning bolts or arrows or you know that so uh, that sort of thing. I'll paint his little chaos leggings. Chaos pants, perhaps, I don't know. Since we have pre-shaded, I'll just brush over the edges here. And the whole leg will be pretty much done. The trick is to have the right pin concentration. It should be a bit like soup. Not broth, soup. Slightly creamy. I'll just put a bit of gold here because it shines just behind the cape. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shiny. And this guy has a little gold uh, sole here. Yes. Gold soles. Oh dear, I've overstepped on the base. That nice scenic base was a, was a good effort from Games Workshop, I, I think. Really, I found it much, uh, much more practical. And uh, it, it also allows them to give their miniatures, especially their characters, more dynamic poses. Granted, the characters are therefore less modular, but, you know, I think it's all for the best, since it's characters. Right, leg, and, uh, you know, that's done, that's done, that's done. Uh, well, all right. Uh, the torso I'll finish up later. I think now it's time for some shades. I'm going to grab a little bit of my hull red. Hull red is one of my favorite colors. Such lovely, lovely tones. There. Here is my hull red. Hull red from Vallejo, number 985 or 146, depending on the uh, type of code you're using or the country you're in. We'll apply thin washes of that whole red, pure, here on the gold parts, well, a little less thin perhaps, there we are, and we'll overstep ever so slightly on the on the periscope blackish parts because uh, I'm not afraid of a little contrast and the periscope actually goes very well with that red why? because it becomes a little purple that's very chaosy that's very warm and 
sort of uh, sort of an inviting color really put a little more of the red uh, whole red here <coughs> probably deserves a little more here and behind there I think uh, I'll put a little hull red in the steely part here because I like it <laughs> yes it goes very well with steel as well it gives a, a reddish hue that could be construed as rust or simply as a warmth you know it's chaosy. That sort of thing. Now here's a little disco stick. It'll just go into the recesses and tint where it needs tinting. If you're wondering why I haven't painted some of the parts of the stick, well, just stick with me and you'll see about that later on. I am absolutely unconcerned about overstepping over some details. Right now, I am just trying to keep somewhat clear of the of the black of the um, periscope because we'll, we'll shade it later on, but that's, that's pretty much all. There. So, now we'll continue on with the brown. This whole red is a magical color for all things. Shading, it gives a warmer tint to all your metals and uh, that's actually quite grand he has a little monster face on his leg and that is quite happily shaded with that brown Sorry, the, the cape is blocking your view a little here. See the monster face? Ooh. Grr. Looks like something out of Scooby-Doo, really. Yes, I think it's time... Well, yes, it's time to shade our... black a little. It's been blue for too long. I'll put on a little black here right there. This is black for, from the Army Painter, but honestly you could use any black you want. This is a matte black. Very important, matte. None of that shiny stuff. I will grab a little bit of our periscope, that is the color we used just now, and mix it in with black here, just to soften things up at first. But we will soon use black washes all over the place. Don't you worry. I know you love black washes it's because it's extremely simple. Now, you see the red has dried a little on our... The, the whole red has dried a little on our shoulder pad. And there, I'm just being a little careful not to overstep on the gold too much, although it wouldn't be too bad, I'd hate to have to touch things up too much, because the gold is, as of now, I think, quite good. This wash is going directly into re the recesses. I'm mixing some more, and now 
we do the rest here for example it's much more straightforward here on the chest piece which is pretty much black anyway but never mind here on the arms I'm not concerned if I overstep on the steel because it's pretty much black and it needs shading anyway here on that on those pieces of armor trying not to touch the little skull which is surprisingly well casted for a plastic piece I'm very happy about that here some shading oh I've overstepped on the on the disco stick a bit it's dreadful no it's not it's perfectly all right we'll correct it at some point not to worry there. same thing on this lovely leg this is a uh, very princely black blue color it goes right into the recesses of that thing here And now his shoe. See how interesting this is? Now we'll have a wash of pure black. This is a wash, so it must be dilute, but the color is black. Or rather, the value is black. <laughs> 